In Chiang Mai, fish spas are springing up like mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah. It's only it do their skin, take do their skin out. The owner of this spa, Apin Pon Sonderquist, spends much of her time reassuring her customers that all is well and that the legions of Gara Rufa fish swarming around their feet mean them no harm and are simply removing dead skin, leaving the feet feeling fresh and healthy. Depending on the size of the fish, the resulting experience can range from a barely perceptible nibble to a fairly significant nip. <laughs> Despite the health benefits being extolled by the Chiang Mai fish spa operators, some health concerns have been raised. Some people are worried that if the fish feasted on the flesh of a diseased foot, then the disease would be passed on to the next customer. The American government has banned fish spas for this reason. Regulations in the U.S. require that exfoliation instruments for the removal of dead skin cells, including live fish, either have to be sterilized or discarded after use. At 55 baht of fish, they are rather too expensive to throw away and definitely wouldn't survive any form of sterilizing process. From what I understand is um, anytime you go to a, to a salon or spa to have a service like this where they remove dead skin, um, the tools that they use are supposed to need to be sterilized and because they're, you know, these are live fish, you can't sterilize a live fish. And Apinpon is adamant that there is no risk of disease being spread because... Yeah, my, my fish spa have a uh, tank, uh, UV, have UV, uh, Q bacteria for customer coming, uh, scare some uh, for some problem in skin. Um, but I have a UV Q bacteria and a good quality for customer. Gara rufa fish occur in the river basins of the northern and central Middle East, mainly in Turkey, Syria, Iraq and Iran. The fish is protected from commercial exploitation in Turkey due to concerns about over-harvesting for export. In the year 2011, there were 1,341 fish spas in Thailand, so it's no wonder the Turks were starting to worry about the numbers of Gara Rufa being depleted. While still very popular in Chiang Mai, the number of fish spas have dropped off a little, and Apin Pon has diversified and also offers conventional foot massages for those too faint-hearted to confront the terrors of the fish tank. The place was a second-hand bookshop when she bought it, and she still does a fair trade in books. Customers often browse the shelves for an appropriate bit of light reading while they dangle their legs in the water for a one-hour session, which costs them 99 baht. After an hour's reading, they are often hooked and end up buying the book as well. <laughs> At the end of what many people regard as an indescribable experience, Apin Pon takes a souvenir photograph, which is printed on the spot and presented to the participant. It's hard to describe. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. You just have to come experience it for yourself. Mrs. Apin Pon's bookshop and fish spa is located on Kot Kuasan Road in Chiang Mai, just near the Tape Gate. <laughs>